Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on epidural hematoma or epidural hemorrhage. Epidural hemorrhage is when the blood accumulates between the bone and the dura mater. So it is above the dura mater, so we call it as epidural. If it is below, it will be subdural hematoma. So this epidural hematoma is often due to a fractured bone which is often the temporal bone or parietal bone. And this then causing laceration of the middle meningeal artery and vein. So take note that the epidural hematoma is due to rupture of the middle meningeal arteries. The clinical features, a very classical clinical feature is the lucid interval, where it may last a few hours to a few days before the bleeding cause a reduce in mental state, which is reduced in the GCS score. So they may be conscious for a while first before losing consciousness after the traumatic event. So they may complain of increasingly severe headache, vomiting, which is a sign of increase in intracranial pressure, confusion and seizure may follow, and some of the cases may complain of hemiparesis, breast reflexes, and an upgoing plantar reflex. Other clinical features include ipsilateral pupil dilatation, coma, bilateral lower limb weakness, and they may have deep and irregular breathing if there is compression of the brain stem. Bradycardia and high blood pressure will be late signs. For investigations, we require a CT brain, where in epidural hematoma, we would expect to see this CT scan finding shown in this picture here. So if you see at the right cerebral hemisphere, there is a biconvex shape, or also called as lens shape hematoma. You can see this area over here. So this lens shape hematoma is a typical finding for epidural hematoma. And besides this CT brain, we can also do skull x-ray, where the finding may be normal, or we might be able to see some fracture lines crossing the course of the middle meningeal vessels that could have caused the hematoma. For management, we have to stabilize the patient, transfer urgently to the neurosurgical unit for clot evacuation plus minus the ligation of the bleeding vessel. Care for the airway if the patient is unconscious and also intubation and ventilation if needed. The prognosis is excellent if the case was diagnosed early and given early operation. However, the prognosis would be poor if the patient is in comatose state or he or she has pupil abnormalities or disturbed rigidity present pre-op. That is all for this video. Thank you.